So I'm out for a walk, not far from uh, where we live. I'm going through some high grass at the moment, so I'm hoping there's no snakes. We do have some snakes about, but I've got socks and shoes on. And I wanted to show you um, an old house, actually, and a barn. The background to this is a lot of young people are leaving the region at the moment, both here in Bosnia and Herzegovina um, and in Serbia as well, going off to find a better future. A bit like Dick Whittington, who became the mayor of London, went to London thinking the streets were paved with gold, and it certainly wasn't. In Serbia at the moment, uh, the government is trying to encourage people to come back to villages, young people, because villages are just dying off. So they're making them offers um, of money and other financial support, benefits, etc., to come back. And I've been in the village long enough, days when people were living here. Um, yeah, and I'm going to show you just a little bit of what a very small, small holding uh, looks like. So this is the main house very small can't have many rooms inside it can you see it's all it's all been built by hand it looks a bit rickety but i'm sure somebody with some skills could sort this out roof looks in good order as well for such a small house i like the the pillars and the road is just there and this is the barn could use that as a garage but I think in there they might have put their cow and at the back let's see uh, as I say I hope I don't get bitten or stung because all this grass is around yeah at the back there could be a place for pigs but beautiful views you have to agree up there on the ridge And the neighbour isn't too far away. Glad I've got socks on. There's stinging nettles everywhere here. And me and stinging nettles, we don't get on. And along there, all grapes. I've often wondered about this. I walk past it so often. I remember thinking, how do people survive here? I'm not going to go inside. I'm not that bad mannered. So yeah, windows open, bug nets on the windows. And there used to be horses here. And a car, I think, used to drive in here. Totally neglected. Yeah. No idea how things will progress. When I first came here, there was a, a family here, I think, a guy and his wife, maybe the grandmother as well, I can't really remember. And they had three children. Uh, I couldn't see how they lived here, but they did. Um, the guy was always doing menial, manual labor jobs around the village. And his wife was just doing what um, ladies do here, looking after the family, housework, um, looking after the fruit and the veg that comes out of the garden. But uh, he moved off to Germany or Austria, I don't know where, to get a job, most probably as a manual labourer. But he's earning a lot more there than he earns here. And when he comes back, he'll bring a European Union passport, uh, not passport, sorry, pension with him. So he's done the right thing. Just a quick look at, um, yeah, a small disused house. If there were any digital nomads or people from more wealthier countries who wanted to find a peaceful life, I'm sure you could buy this piece of land and the houses on it and do them up, renovate them at a fraction of what it would cost 
for example, in Germany, France, or the United Kingdom. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, if you like what you've seen, please subscribe, um, give us a thumbs up and hit that uh, bell button so that you're always notified when we put up uh, another video. And thanks for watching to the end till now, because it helps with the algorithm on YouTube for the algorithm to deliver you more content from here in Northwest Bosnia-Herzegovina. Bye for now.